Hey man, this is a Briggs and Stratton carburetor 592576. And what I'm doing is I just chem dipped it for 30 minutes, heat, heated. Now I'm just going to get the, I soaked it in water and soap and washed it out. What I want to do is I'm just going to blow it down careful. You got to be careful with carburetors in air because you can blow out seals, mini gasket, Kevlar. And all I want to do is I just want to get most of the water out of this. I'll talk while I'm doing it. Compressor's running. And I'm just going to do this. So it's going to sit till tomorrow when I go ahead and start rebuilding it. And I just want as much moisture out of it as possible. And I just use a little bit of air. And then I'm going to show you how this thing looks. All right, pretty dry. It looks good. Now look at this carb. If you were to see the other videos when I first posted, this thing was rough looking. I got it looking like brand new chem dip, clean, gasket off, buffed. This, this carb is ready for uh, reassembly. So I'll just set it over here, set it over there, out of the way, ready to go. Doesn't matter, I'll be out here tomorrow. I'll put my little tag because I'm getting absent minded so I don't forget. Throw away my trash, clean up my mess, and we're rocking and rolling. We're getting there. So, and uh, that's what we got. We got a carburetor 592 576 being completely cleaned, aired out, washed. Looks like brand new. Uh, this car will look, it, this car will work like brand new for at least another three years. And you don't have to go spend a lot of money on it. All right. Henry out. Have a good night. Henry Weederman out.